Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create the axle peg. Again, I've got my train file opened up. I click the plus, create part studio. Just like in the previous videos, I'm going to right click on this and rename it and say axle peg. Right, this piece is going to be made using the revolve tool. So I'm going to start a new sketch on my front. The overall length of this bolt is 1.125. So the length of the threaded area is one inch. The length of just this small, the head of the bolt is 1.25. So I'm gonna start by creating a line that goes up 1.125, right? Notice it's got a flat portion here. That flat portion is a diameter 0.25, but again, we're only drawing half of it. So I'm going to create a line that is 0.125. All right, on the bottom, right, this entire bolt has a diameter of 0.25, but we're only looking at radius, we're only looking at half of that. So I'm gonna create a line that goes this way, 0.125. The length of the bolt head is one inch. So I'm gonna do one, and I'm gonna go over a random distance and then go up, but this up distance, let me zoom this in a little bit, this flat portion here is 0.031. So on here I'm gonna type in, let me undo that real quick. From here going up, 0.031. Right? But now I'm going to go back and place a dimension, right? Because this is a random dimension. I need to enter a dimension from here to here. This entire bolt head is 0.422 diameter. I need half of that. So I'm going to type in 0.422 and then I can put divided by 2. Right? And it's 0.211. Again, we're drawing half of it so that we can revolve it. Then I've got a radius that is 0.236 so I'm going to use my arc tool from here to here making sure my center point is somewhere near that middle and type in 0.236 right finish sketch I'm going to go to my isometric view I'm going to use my revolve. It's asking me for my axes. This is my inside axis. Get my check. All right. We'll go to the bottom here. We've got a chamfer that is 45 degrees by 0 0.031. So I'm going to go to chamfer. I'm going to say distance and angle. I'm going to say a distance of 0.03. It's already at 45, and I'll hit this inside edge. All right, and then on top, I've got a polygon here that is 530 seconds across flat. So I'm gonna add a new sketch on top. I'm gonna do polygon. Number of sides, one, two, three, four, five, six. Modify that from an eight to a six. It says 530 seconds across flats. What that means is that I'm going to place a dimension from one half to the other half at 530 seconds. Get my finished sketch. Click my extrude. I want to remove this by 0.111. Hit my check, and there I have my axle bolt. We will talk about threading at a later date.